What's up, everyone? It's your boy Terry speaking from the Garage Shop again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. That's right. What? What do you? Oh, oh yes, yes. You notice the '71 Chevelles back in the Garage Shop? Yeah. I tell you why, because we're doing a, a lot of things. We're going to be enhancing this car. We're going to be doing some more mods to it, and uh, because we're going to try to get it prepared and ready. Because we're going to we're going to try to get to LS Fest. That's right, LS Fest East this year. If it happens, we're going to we're going to definitely try to get down there. Now, some of the stuff that I want to do, it requires having a little bit more vacuum. But you guys know that with the LSA, you're kind of limited to the vacuum ports that you can use that are on the snoot, and you, you, you're really limited with the vacuum ports. So I think I got, I think I got a solution. So let's go on over where I keep my parts. Yeah, and uh, let's have a chat. Like I was saying, I'm doing a lot of enhancements to the 71 Chevelle here that I got with the LSA supercharge installed, and I need more vacuum ports to work some of the some of the products that I'm gonna be using. So, being that you're kind of limited on the vacuum that you can use off of the LSA and the snoot, I decided to take the top and drill and tap a couple of vacuum ports. That way, everything can have a dedicated vacuum line. Because the last thing you want is to have a daisy chain with like seven or eight different pieces on one vacuum line and it's like <laughs> like starving for vacuum when no certain things deserve its own dedicated vacuum source so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna drill and tap the top so i have two extra sources of vacuum let's get going now i already drilled and tapped one hole already but i'm gonna do another one like right around right here i got three drill bits which i step and then i go in there with uh a tap. So let's get started. I want to make sure I put something inside to catch the shavings, which is like just a old shirt or something like that. You know, like this. Put it down in there so it catch the shavings. And then I put a piece of metal just in case the drill gets away from me. And uh, it'll hit this instead of going and breaking that, that heat exchanger. Safety first, don't forget the goggles. Okay, I'm done with the drilling. I no longer need this because like I said, the heat exchanger. I'm going to be careful with the shavings that I gathered up, see? So, but I'll blow that out anyway, so. Now, let's begin with the tap. With the tapping, what I like to do is I like to put a little grease because that will also catch the shavings. And we can make it a little bit easier to put go in. So, starting the second hole. I'm gonna start it nice and slow. Make sure it doesn't get lopsided because it tends to do that when you first start in. And let's keep it going. See, I'm glad, like I said, put a little bit of grease on it. That way, not only does it catch the shavings, it also helps lubricate the thread you don't want to go all the way in so now at this point back it out and go forward and you're almost done here now, so get a little smooth a little softer yeah. we're in back it out And this is why you want to have that that grease, the tap dip, dip in the grease. See that? That's unless you got to fish out or blow out when you uh, clean it and clean it out. So 
See, now you got the tap to go in and it's coming all the way through. You see, it's coming all the way through in the hole. The hole, so pull it out. Let's test it out. Where's the barb? All right, let's put it in here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Catch the thread. That's one. Yeah, I got another one here. Yep, and there's two. Two extra vacuum ports on my LSA. Now, before I install my barb, I like to use a little Teflon paste on the threads, or you can use tape, but I prefer Teflon paste. Just looks better. There you have it. Drilled and tapped, and also capped. So I got two extra vacuum sources for whenever, or whatever I use them for. There you have it. Now I got not one, but two vacuum sources under the bonnet of the Chevelle. And if you don't think too long or too hard, I'm sure you can figure out why I need an extra vacuum source for the Chevelle. I'll give you a hint. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Why did Terry need an extra port? Hmm, why? Now me being the hands-on type of guy that I am, I didn't mind one bit drilling and tapping into that intake. I kind of like that type of stuff. But if you don't want to go through all that, give my man Justin a call at LSX Innovations. He makes a port adapter that fits under the map sensor, which will give you an extra vacuum port. Ooh, and don't forget, whenever you remove the top off your LSA like I just did, okay, when you install it, there is a torque spec, which it's in inch pounds, not foot pounds. 44 the first pass, 89 the second pass, and there is a torque in sequence. Don't worry, your boy Terry always looks out for you. I'll put the link in the description. And finally, I gotta give a big old shout out to my man Lance Drager over at R&D Performance Fabrication for being the LS guru that he is. The man knows everything. <laughs> so I'm looking at that clock on the wall. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it. Or should I say ceiling? Time for me to head on off and continue to do these videos because we got a lot of videos coming. We got some more projects rolling through and we're rolling them out because we, that's what we do here. That's what we do. And always remember, there is no me without you. So I want to say thank you guys again. You, everyone out there, because I really appreciate what's been going down and we just going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. So if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. I'm not a hard brother to find. But until the next time, be easy. I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.